Imagine a team you've recently managed and consider what factors made it effective. What would you have done differently to increase productivity and performance? Teams are created to achieve a specific goal or objective. Managers understand what tasks need to be completed and make it clear what the expectations are. It wouldn't be productive to create a team without first understanding the critical points of the project, such as who is on the team, what they need to accomplish, and how they will complete the work. The first step of formulating a team is team chartering. A team charter is a document that outlines the specifics of the group, including the goals, objectives, available resources, and timeline. Team chartering is a time for the team to discuss and develop parameters around expectations for communicating, contributions of each team member, and the overall deliverables. Creating a team charter allows each member to understand the team objectives. It also documents the foundational agreements of the team. By completing a charter, everyone agrees on the goals and the roadmap to achieve them. They begin listing what resources they'll need to meet the objectives. Tasking a team with developing the team charter builds the foundation of group dynamics and cohesion. This process also allows a team to understand each other's strengths and weaknesses, along with how to navigate and resolve conflict. Having the members assist with making the team charter creates buy-in and facilitates ownership of the process. Typically, team charters consist of the project components that will guide the team to achieve its goals. This includes the mission, roles and authority, resources needed, deliverables, and a timeline. Ensure the tasks related to the deliverables are clearly defined and have sections on what resources will be required to complete them. Also, list potential resources and barriers to success. Managers can easily revise available team charters to fit the needs of their group and specifics related to the project and organization. Common concerns to avoid when working with a team to develop a charter include being too broad in the goals and objectives and not clearly identifying roles and responsibilities. Some groups also forget to revisit the team charter if the objectives, team members, or resources change. These mistakes in the process can create ambiguity for team members and lead to wasted time. The team charter serves as the primary document to guide the team through the stated objectives. It clearly outlines the tasks, who is responsible, what resources are available, and what timelines need to be met. Team chartering ensures increased productivity and improved performance. By identifying the key components of the project, the team can stay on task. Having a roadmap allows the team to focus on the objectives rather than struggle, not knowing what's expected of them. The team will spend less time figuring out what's expected and who's responsible for what. Navigating potential barriers beforehand improves team development, collaboration, and creativity. Having an effective team charter and outline of a project provides the structure needed for a team to be high-functioning and high-performing.